Hello everyone. How are you doing on the start of the weekend? Uh, it's uh, the afternoon here in uh, Malvern, Pennsylvania. I guess it's around 4.45 the clock says there. Oh, just listening to a new CD I got. The complete King Cole trios of Nat King Cole uh, from the late 40s um, or throughout the 50s. M basically, his ensemble work is what I'm concerned with, the non-vocals. And uh, if you've never listened to the King Cole trio, the Nat King Cole trio that he formed uh, actually earlier than earlier than late 40s um, now in any event if you've never listened to it give it a listen you can find them uh, on the internet I think this is one of four sets that it contains three CDs but the type of uh, CDs you get about 25, 26 tracks on per CD. So uh, it's really, really a super set that I got. I got it for less than $10. Yeah. You know, I'm not trying to uh, uh, put down my own kind of music, but people don't buy the good stuff anymore and I really mean that I mean uh, uh, if you listen to what's going around now and I've said this before so pardon me uh, the new subscribers haven't heard this but uh, my take on modern music uh, of course they're still uh, creating classical music uh, of all kinds, uh, quote-unquote good music out there, but it's not popular. Uh, I'm talking about the everyday stuff you listen to and see on. Uh, uh, you know, uh, they'll have a hot artist on like The Late Show or The Tonight Show, and they're, they, they don't swing. I mean, <laughs> it's non-melodic and a lot of minor key stuff. Uh, uh, if I'm going to listen to a good minor key song, it would be Nightmare by Artie Shaw. Um, it's funny, there was even an Artie Shaw playing, song playing on uh, The Sopranos when uh, Tony got shot by his uncle. Uh, it was called Comes Love. And uh, it's sung by Helen Forrest with Artie Shaw. So that's just a little aside. Well, anyway, let's move on. My quote of the day is from all at, is from uh, Diana Ross, believe it or not. She said, you just can't sit there and wait for someone to hand you that golden dream. Diana Ross. In other words, got to be proactive. And, uh, you know, you just can't uh, laze around. Oh, yeah, somebody's going to give me a million dollars here today. Go out there, work for it. The best advice. Well, I'm chatting away here. Of course, I have to relate my pipe. With the K.O. Brian Cherry Vaughn. Cherry Vaughn by K.O. C.A.O. And I'm smoking it in my Jeanette pipe. 
that I shared a couple days ago. In fact, I might have even smoked this in this, but I forget. Sincerely forget what, what I smoked in it. I know I smoked this pipe. And I know I smoked cherry bomb on the last uh, bit or so. I asked this before, but it might have been at the end of a video. <clears throat> yeah, a lot of folks, through, you know, maybe go through half, maybe even three quarter. I know quite a few people that do go to the end, but I'm going to uh, 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 put a call out for anybody uh, that knows of somebody or is. Uh, a person that uh, belongs to that North American society of uh, pipe collectors. And it would be interesting to get some feedback. I know it's a paid organization uh, where you get several uh, newsletters a year. And I think it's, 18, uh, it's around $18, I think. And uh, so I'd really be interested. I'm sure, I'm sure probably you have pipe shops or members. And, and, you know, they have a home page and they say, you know, members from 28 states. Well, that's, you know, that's not 50. I mean, that's, it's a, it's a bunch of states. It's a good, but the, yeah. I know nothing about the organization as far as feedback, so if you do know, let me know. I am hooked on cherry bomb tobacco, as you've noticed. And now, of course, I'm going to have to order some cherry smash from Boswell's. As someone said, is even better. <laughs> so, there we go. I am in pipe smoker's heaven right now. I'm relaxed, smoking a favorite tobacco and a favorite pipe. And I hope you are uh, uh, not only in a good mood, but share, sharing your favorite pipes and tobaccos with me also. I want to give a mini shout out to Pipe Lawyer, and I'm glad to see that you're at least making one or two videos after a uh, hiatus. Uh, that's not a strange African animal. That that's a that's a being away for a while, <laughs> and uh, uh, gotta get my six cents a year. And so, uh, welcome back to the fold, as they would say.
I understand there's also a meetup coming up in Boswell's uh, uh, at Boswell's Pipe Shop up in Chambersburg, PA, something like April 12th. But to make sure that it's that day, if you want to, uh, um, you know, check it out, uh, go to Travis 7's website. And there's also several other folks. If you're just doing some surfing, you'll uh, come up with uh, the Boswell meetup. He ran through a few names that are going to be there. And I believe Dion Powell of uh, Classical Pipes 322 is going to be there. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, folks. Uh, but I think his name was mentioned. And of course, Travis. I'm trying to wrangle uh, a trip up there by either my wife or my daughter or son-in-law. Or hopefully a combination of all three, they'll take me up there <laughs> in the same car. But that's uh, not super far away, actually. So our days in this household have been taking up preparing for my daughter's wedding on May 10. And uh, uh, it's uh, going to be a super affair. We are able to uh, engineer... Uh, a lot of nice, it's going to be a nice formal wedding, and uh, uh, a beautiful chapel, and uh, uh, there's such a, it's, an, it's a whole different world, that bridal scene. Uh, for instance, yesterday my wife uh, uh, had uh, finally picked up a veil that Ashley wants and uh, uh, it was I believe it came to a hundred and a quarter but almost the identical one she saw originally she saw she uh, at another bridal shop went for over four hundred dollars for something you're gonna use once and of course uh, uh, we bought and uh, uh, was delivered the flower girl's outfit, which is really nice. I think it's a size four, isn't it? And uh, kids' size. And it was so cute. It's, it's great. So it's a high excitement in the family. And it's a new, uh, how would you say it? Uh, <clears throat> a whole new stage of not only her and... Uh, Bob's life, the groom, but also with uh, my immediate family because we take on another family. Uh, you know, so much is said about, uh, uh, you know, in-laws and blah, 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 and they stay too long. I don't know where that ever came from because, uh, in all honesty, uh, I've never had... Uh, any problems with so-called in-laws and so-and-so stays too long or so-and-so talks too much. Or, uh, uh, but I'm looking forward to my new family. And we're at the end after I went off on that tangent. So, happy smoking. <laughs>